Welcome to another day. So it's minus five now inside the house. We've still got no heating. We had to sleep with all our clothes on. Uh, luckily, George is coming up today. He's doing a five hour trip to bring up some industrial heaters until we can get this oil sorted out. So it's going to be a cold week. I'm almost there. A couple more hours and I'll be done. And I'll be able to take out the old pup. Now for all of you who's watching and thinking, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Life is all about learning. And if you sit still, you're just going to stagnate. The trick with a project like this is to chop it up into little bits. And even this little trench that's taking hours and hours to dig. Set yourself a target for an hour. At least that way you're not overwhelmed. Like yesterday, I learned how to take a shower apart and how to take the filter out of a toilet. Now, these are things that I wouldn't have normally known how to do. But you learn as you go. Well, I feel like the Energizer Bunny now. I've just had a nice bacon and egg sandwich, a cup of coffee, and ready to go. If there's any ladies out there watching this video and your partner says that he can't be bothered or he doesn't know how to do something, just send him to YouTube. I take my hat off to all the tradesmen who take their time to teach us some of their skills. That's what life is about, sharing knowledge. And without these guys showing us how it's done, it's a lot harder and it takes a lot longer to learn. All I can say is if you don't know how to do something, like I said, just go on YouTube and you'll find a solution to your problem. So finally, the trench has been dug. What's really annoying about all of this, this is just a temporary measure. Because in a few months, we're moving the oil drum to the front of the property. We have to do this all again. All right, on to the next job. Now, as you will remember, I managed to get all the slate up on this corner here. This was the worst affected part of the roof. All the beams were rotten inside. George managed to change those over. And I put the old slate after I cleaned them back up again. Now, because these are Balahulish tiles, unfortunately, none of them are the same size or the same thickness. So it creates this rustic look. I'm not really too bothered about that as long as it's watertight. As you can see, everything's frosty. The ladders are frosty. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Good morning, happy campers, or wherever you are, good afternoon, good evening. Starting to sound like the Truman Show here. As you can see, it's a hard frost again, minus five. It was very, very cold inside the house. In fact, it got so cold that I decided to bubble wrap up all the windows. That's actually quite a good tip. If um, you can't afford your electricity bills or if your heating has gone off, put bubble wrap on your windows goes a long way to saving a lot of the heat inside the house. So today it's going to be more of the same. Washing tiles and getting them ready to go back onto the roof again. Have I told you how cold it is yet today? I'll show you. Did you get it all over you? It's so cold that the leftover food is frozen solid. So last night when I couldn't do any work with the roof, I started chopping down some of these trees. Uh, and the reason is, is because there's an electric pole sitting right there. And I don't want them getting that big that it interferes with the line. The idea is that I'm going to build a large swimming pool next to the barnyard and it's going to be enclosed in a large conservatory. So it's going to go down the side of there. It's going to be a long training pool. I'm going to have to dig out all of that bank there. So this is eventually going to be a path up into the back garden. I 
I've started clearing a path up. There's a nice space around this big tree. I might put a shepherd's cabin. Just in the back corner there. So this is the view you'll have from a little cabin. Anyway, that's enough of me skiving work. As you can see, the roof is still white with thick, thick frost. I won't be able to get up there until the sun starts coming out and melting that ice off. Otherwise it gets really dangerous. So in the meantime, I'm gonna keep washing slates, getting them ready to go up. I'm telling you, this is an endless job. You just have to keep cracking on. And of course the hardest part is putting holes in these tiles because all the old holes are finished.